I think of that notion of the not knowing. Um, I think it's a really useful construct um, for those who have positional responsibility, positional authority, positional structure. These are my words for describing people who have, who might have a leadership role. But the truth is, I think it it applies to all of us. And um, I love that image at the tail end of the series Mad Men, where Peggy, who has risen from being Don Draper's assistant to being Don Draper's boss, and she is completely, totally freaked out. And Don is on his journey to Esalen, to figuring out, like, there's something beyond living the falsity that he has lived his life with. And she comes to him completely freaked out and asking him a series of questions. And he just smiles in an annoying Buddha-like way and says, welcome to the not knowing. Leave aside the character flaws implicit in Don Draper. There is something really powerful in that moment. And it's recognizing that the not knowing is the normal condition. Um, it reminds me of Pema Chodron's notion of comfortable with uncertainty, of not knowing how things are going to be. And in her recommendation, the image she gives is when we're in that not knowing state, our task is to sit like a mountain in the midst of a hurricane, rooted in the ground of who we know we are, our values, our belief systems, rooted in the knowledge that all things are impermanent. And the world just storms around us and it just, the winds blow and the rains blow and we are, and here we are. And to think that we know I think as Voltaire said, to be uncertain is uncomfortable, but to be certain is ridiculous. And that's the spot that we have to be in. I think poetry works because it has the capacity to cut through our own bullshit. It's like a, um, it's like this direct heart to heart transmission of truth. In Tibetan Buddhist tradition, one of my favorite saints is a um, Buddha named Manchuri. And Manchuri wields a flaming sword of prajna. And prajna is wisdom that cuts. And I think of poetry as the capacity to just cut through and say what needs to be said and to speak truth. Um, and for many people, it feels scary. If for many people, it feels like it reminds them of sixth grade and getting the wrong answer on a test because they didn't interpret the poem correctly. And then what I just counsel is treat the poem like you would treat a dream. It's a message from the unconscious that has a truth in it that doesn't need to be interpreted correctly. It needs to be felt. And there's few poets as powerful, as truthful as Rilke. Mm -hmm.